Hi everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and Swift Creek Customs. I wanted to share a little bit more on this shirt that I made with the Caesar Easy Color DTV. I'm using Silhouette Studio and doing a print and cut, so it's cutting around the images. I will link a tutorial on how to set up print and cut in the description below. This is showing my Cameo for registering those marks, the registration marks that have printed on the page so it can tell where the design is. With print and cut, it is set up very specifically and so it's looking for those marks. Um, I highly recommend using the default registration marks if you are a beginner or if you've ever had trouble with print and cut. You could see in the beginning of the video, I was holding my mat level with the machine, so it gave it its best chance to read. I have sped up the cutting part of this portion of the video, so you didn't have to listen to it cut completely around the images, but the top turtle that I have on there has a white border around it in the actual image, and then the shark is actually cut right next to the design. And then I go ahead and test it to weed it before I unload the mat, just in case. I am using the recommended settings from the Caesar website, which I will also link below. Um, it is such a dream to weed this. It's so perfect when you have your cut settings. And I would just recommend you test for your blade life. Um, I was using an older blade when I first started. I noticed it was cutting a little off. So I swapped out for a brand new blade and it has been a dream. Now I'm going to show you the process that I used when I heat press this. And no one's perfect. Everybody has um, mistakes. You might need to press a second time. In this case, you'll see here. So I'm using a pressing pad because of the seams in my shirt. Um, because it's a baseball style shirt and it has the seams on those shoulders, seams can interfere with your pressure. And so I'm using a heat press pad that I placed inside the shirt at this moment. And then I'm just trying to straighten out that shirt before I do a pre-press on the garment. Now, since I'm using the pad, it affects the difference in the pressure. So my press won't close right now because I didn't use the press the previous time I used it. So I'm loosening the pressure for that. And um, spoiler alert, I loosened it just a little bit too much. So I did end up going back and pressing a second time, which I kept on camera and kept in the recording so you can see that. So you can see that it, it's not always perfect your first time that you do everything. So in this case, I just it needs medium to firm pressure and I didn't quite have it the first press that I did. What I'm showing here is that when you have a solid cut like I do with this shark, with the Caesar Easy Color DTV, you do not need a mask. You can just peel that off very easily and I watched a video where Joe did, if your um, DTV curls, you can just hold that down onto your pre-pressed um, object and it'll flatten out a little bit before you press it. So if it, it warms up that surface and so it relaxes the vinyl and that curl should go away and then you can put your parchment paper on top. So now I'm just trying to get it straight. I have a very difficult time with shirts and getting things straight. It's a good thing I don't sell shirts. Um, I just make for personal use. So this is gonna be for my son. And parchment paper will give it a matte finish. If you use a Teflon sheet, it will give it more of a glossy finish. So then I sped up the um, pressing time here. So again, you didn't have to watch that. This is my first press. And so I'm going to lift the shirt off of the press. And when I do, um, and I'll point this out here on the video, I noticed that the um, it didn't quite have a good adhesion. My, my pressure just wasn't quite enough. So I pull this up to the camera here and it just didn't feel solid to me. So I'm going to do another press. And um, I use this heat press pad. I, I put it inside the first time. Now I'm just gonna put it on my mat, but if you can see in there, at one point in time, I had a sublimation print that transferred over onto my pad. So I'm just gonna cover that surface just in case with the heat that no ink would transfer over to this shirt. So I covered that and I'm laying it on top of the pressing pad now. 
and then I'm going to center that on my press and I'm going to give it another press just because I felt it wasn't good enough and that was completely on me it was not the product it was the pressure on my press um, when I'm bouncing back and forth between different materials um, using the pressing pad or not using the pressing pad it makes a difference when you change your pressure I do like that I can manually change my pressure and this time it came out perfect I can see when I hold it up to the camera here I can see that texture of the shirt in the transfer so I'm really enjoying this transfer this is a shirt school starts here back to school for us so he'll be able to wear this in school so you can see that texture comes through with this shark image and that was all done through the silhouette studio software print and cut and then using the caesar easy color dtv thanks for watching if you have questions drop them below have a great day thank you